Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Hangar Grid, which is being made by forum user Sare. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is quite possibly one of the most wonderful shipbuilding tools Ever, as it adds into both the VAB and the space plane hangar a visual grid system so that you can align all of your parts on your ships to just exactly where they need to be. And oh my, I cannot tell you guys how much I love that, as I have spent so much time in this game fiddling around with the angles of different parts on my ships to get them to just the right spot. And now with this tool, that job is a cinch. So let's just jump right on in to the uh, space plane hangar here. And what you're going to notice is we have a lovely new button down here in the bottom right hand corner, which is the activate button for the grid system. But if I press it right now, as I will here, you'll notice no grid pops up. And that's because you need a root part to actually attach the grid to. So if we grab, say, this Mark 1 inline cockpit, there you go. You see we now have the grid. And if you ever do want to turn it off, say, if uh, it's a bit too too much visual impact for you, you can always click the button and there you go, it'll go right back off. But with it on, you have this absolutely wonderful grid system going in the X, Y, and Z directions to help you out with getting all of your parts just right on your ship, and it's gorgeous. So let's just throw on a couple of random parts here to show you the use. Now the first thing we're going to look at is with grabbing this uh, Mark II adapter, I always forget the name, you'll notice we have some guidelines on the part themselves, and that is what you're going to use to assist you in making sure that all of your parts are lined up with the grid system, or potentially lined up to a specific angle that you want with the grid system. Uh, so for instance, if we actually wanted this part to be at like a 45 degree angle, uh, we could just line it up between two points on the grid there so we could get roughly a 45 degree angle out of it. We'd actually need a little bit more because you'd want it to go between two corners of one of those grids, which I'm using this grid right here for my sort of uh, visual interest. And yeah, you could get it to roughly a 45 degree angle, uh, but of course we're actually just wanting this thing just straight on there. And you can see we have these lines going straight up parallel with the grids, lines going straight out parallel with the grids, and of course the line going right down the center. Now you may have noticed that these are color coded, and that is something which I'll admit I don't pay a whole lot of attention to, but the rough colors here are the pink is supposed to be your thrust vector line. Uh, the uh, violet, so the up and down here, is supposed to be forward, though that forward really only makes sense in the VAB in the space plane hangar. I guess that would technically be up because, I mean, that's the top of the plane, or, of course, the bottom of the plane going down this way. And the red is supposed to be, well, according to the mod author, right, but I, I just take it as the two sides, uh, the major sides of the uh, part that you're looking at. Uh, but yes, that is what the color coding is supposed to mean. Uh, for me, the most important one that I've always paid attention to is this pink here, because that is the thrust vector line. So, of course, when we have it attached here, it blends in right there with the the dead center line of our grid, and you know that it's in the right place it's supposed to be. But if, say, we want to do some weird things, like, say, add a delta wing on here, and perhaps you want your plane to have some, uh, kind of odd wings, so if we actually sort of angle these babies a little bit here, just bring them down, and then... If you, say, want to have your wings angled inward towards the craft as so, I mean, you can do that. I've seen plenty of planes with it, but then you run into a major problem, at least a problem for me, and that's you probably still want your engines to be facing straight dead ahead, forward and back, which is kind of difficult, which, say, if we grab this engine nacelle, if you just go by this, because, of course, as you can see by the uh, vector lines, they're kind of facing inwards with the wing as well. We've got those pink lines going in on either side, and that 
that could be an issue for you. But that is where the grids really come into play, because we can, of course, use these tools to rotate these to where we need to be. So we'll make it parallel with the green lines down here on the grid system. So we got the pink line here, the green line here. They're roughly in line with one another, at least on uh, this axis. Now, of course, we'll have to go to the side because it's probably, yes, it is in fact uh, angled downward a bit. So then we just need to bring it up as so and line it up with uh, those lines in the back right here. So we've got it roughly parallel. And you just kind of keep doing that till you get exactly where you need it. And honestly, they're pretty straightforward right now. I mean, they're still parallel to the green lines here. They are parallel to the green lines here. So within seconds, we've made these two engine nacelles going perfectly straightforward and back, which was the intention. And if I was doing this without these grid lines, that probably would have taken me about five minutes because I'd be sitting here the whole time fiddling with every angle going, ooh, maybe if I move it just a little bit further back, ooh, no, maybe a little bit the other way, etc., etc. But with these lines, you, you have a guide to actually show you where exactly the parts need to be. And of course, if we leave the space plane hangar, it works just the same in the uh, vehicle assembly building. It's just those uh, colored lines are slightly different in orientation because, of course, well, Space Plane Hangar, we're wanting to go forward. Whereas on this one, if we grab that, you'll notice the pink thrust vector line is, of course, going up and down because, well, it's a rocket. So thrust is going to be coming that way. And yeah, you just use it in here exactly the same. You just line up the things with the grid. And whenever you're done or don't need it anymore, bam, you just shut it down and you're good to go. And that oh god i love this thing i really do it's gonna make my building of ships so much easier and if you would like to try this out for yourself and i definitely would recommend that you do it because again it's just such a useful tool then check out the link in the description as always and yeah that is going to be the end of the episode here my friends i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one. Now I'm going to have a little laser light show here by just spinning this for a while. <laughs> Later, folks.